is the take my Miles County case, agenda item number eight, text amendment 2014-02. Staff, if you would please present this item. Yes, sir, thank you. Um, the impetus behind this item is earlier this summer, the Planning Commission and the County Commission approved a series of text amendments that ultimately resulted in a summary document like this being approved. This summary document is, you know, I'll, I'll say seven or eight pages, and it takes pieces of our code and breaks it down so it's convenient to look at and, and approve. Since that meeting, a um, conversation with a county attorney, and he's recommended a couple of things that we do differently. One is that when we approve the amendments, we actually approve them in a form that represents the entire ordinance, which is something that you have in your packet, the bulk of the ULDC, the 300 page or so document. Um, that's, a, that's a good idea. It's more work for us on the front end, but that's, that's a good idea. So that's what we've done, is we've taken these amendments and put them in the ULDC. And Commissioner Raker, one of your questions for me on that is, Jason, is it exactly the same? And my answer is, almost. <laughs> there are spacing and page breaks and page numbers that change when we take something from this document and put it into the entire code. So for the text, those are the things that I think are not the same. And we did try to be careful about what amendments we included. We tried to be consistent with what was approved earlier. With the fee schedule, there were language and spacing and page number changes. The language changes in the fee schedule uh, were the date and then the page numbers. I included a number to show there was extra pages, like page one of two, so people would know that there's an extra page. So we did that on purpose. We tried to be very clear, tried to be very simple, so we brought it back just reflecting what was approved earlier this summer. The second recommendation that he has, and the jury is still out in my opinion on this one, is when he wants the county commissioners to approve the zoning map, which we do on occasion, he wants them to be able to approve the zoning map the day the map is printed. And that's hard for staff because that means you don't get the actual copy of the map until the day of the county commission, which is September 9th. So the copy of the map we did, we did a test run today to see if we could do that in a day, and we were able to. That map, as you see the date there, it says date printed in small print was August 25th, which is today. And so we're able to run that and get you copies, but it still says draft because we anticipate is for us to run another copy the day of the county commission meeting, so that way when they adopt the map, it's as of that date. So but it will be the same. What's that? But it will be the same. The only changes I anticipate making are to ask them to print the map. I don't anticipate, we're not making any zoning changes before that time. Um, they did make a change to the legend, which I think makes it better with the airport overlay. They actually had something on the overlay that was depicted but wasn't in the legend. So that was um, the conical and horizontal surface zones. Those just weren't labeled. That was a good change. But we don't have any zoning cases before the map is approved beyond, you know, potentially Mr. Mr. Panizzi's case. And so I don't know if there's any changes in that map other than please print this for the county commission. But we did it as a test. So far it worked. I'm not sold on that, but the ordinance changes. I thought that's a good idea to just have the full ordinance reflected rather than a, um, a small portion that's parceled out like the summer. So I bring these to you, but I ask for your recommendation of approval. Try to answer any questions that you have tonight. But that's why we're here is to try to readdress those as part of a whole document rather than just a summary a summary is, is one of the changes that when this map comes out of the printer mm -hmm. you have to approve it right there on the spot well what will happen is we'll ask valor you know september 9th please run us a new map copy and then they'll run that copy and we'll get copies out to the commissioners we'll have large copies for them because we like for the chairman to sign them and the clerk to seal them, so that way they have a written record of the actual map as of that date. And so, yes, we'll have to redo the date down there to say, you know, the draft will be removed, the date will say September 9th, and that is what we hope to be the official zoning map of that date. Is there any reason for that kind of a rush to, I mean, he, that's just gonna make the mistakes? He has, he has concerns I believe based on court cases elsewhere in the state or the nation that have gone down to when was a map approved for your particular municipality. I think he's basing it on concerns he has from previous litigation 
is not Lowndes County, but other governments. All right. Any other questions for staff? Just a quick one. Just a quick. So, what you are saying is the contact has not changed. Ma'am. And the question is the the marking on this big map, the horizontal mark, the horizontal mark, that's a that's a printing issue, right? That's it's right. It's not part of the map. No, that's just to show this is a draft because okay. I didn't want y'all to think that this is the copy they're going to approve because we have to print one more copy for them. All right, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being no discussion, is now open to commissioners. There being no discussion, I will now take a motion from the commissioners. on this motion. There being none, all those in favor of this motion, please do so by, ending, by raising your hand. All right, the motion passes unanimously. Be sure to call the attorney within the next 30 minutes and let me know that we did <laughs> All right, we do have a, uh, a couple of